to make of it, do you? All right, we're gonna do a quick tutorial on how to make characters similar to Cyanide and Happiness, Swoozy, and Alex Clark. And we're gonna do that in Inkscape. So here we have Inkscape. So first of all, we're gonna draw the head and we're going to left mouse button click and we're gonna hold the control key down so we can get a um, proportional circle. And what we want to do is maybe come over here to uh, the fill-in stroke under object and make sure we have the stroke style at about 15. Uh, we're going to come over to this one here, which is the Bezier curve. And we're going to just basically click release, click release, click release, click release, and click release. Now that's only one uh, pixel thin, so I'm going to change that to 15. And then we're going to use this little guy over here, and this is a freehand draw um, and I'm using uh, control uh, up uh, mouse wheel and control mouse wheel uh, to move the zoom in and out and basically we're going to uh, click and release and click and release and click and release click and release and notice we've got uh, the uh, cap here is round and we're going to do that for the legs as well right now what we're going to do is we're going to choose the F1 key or this little particular guy over here and we're going to click on the body and we're going to give him a color oh I don't know how about that and we're going to click on the head and we're going to give him a color and as you notice we've got the head behind the body here so what we can do is click on the body and we can hit the page down key and it will go behind and however you want to do your legs you probably want to have them also behind so if I'm right mouse button left mouse button click and then left mouse button click and then page down and page down and put those behind it's getting windy outside so it's getting noisy so with this arm I don't know if you if you put it below the head below the body it's going to be below the head so if you move it at all which we're going to do here so you come along and double click here which gives us a little bit of a hand and then we uh, shift click and then we've got both of them and then we can see so notice when you do that it goes behind the head so you can maybe do all hand movements for behind the head on this guy if you want so do a double click on here create another dot and then we can do click and that one selected and shift in and we go over here and then we can just maybe select this one and go like that oops don't want that uh, so click and then shift click then move that up there and then we can come in here into the middle and just bend that around like that and then get this guy in. As you can see now we've got some sort of like we can almost animate this guy. Right? Oh, I'm scratching my head. I'm scratching my head. Anyways. So um, for people that are going to animate using uh, Windows Movie Maker, which probably you're going to do, um, what I suggest is you would um, make your pose as you want and then come over here and go export bitmap and then choose drawing and choose the DPI you want the larger the DPI the bigger the picture and the bigger the picture the better it is if you zoom in you get less pixelated and export your drawing and then make a change say like that and then re go back in here and export your bitmap and you can have like a head scratching so let's just uh, go in quickly and make some eyes now that's probably a little too thick, so we're going to change that to say maybe three. And what we're going to do is Control C and Control V to duplicate that. And let's see, did we get it? No, we didn't. Control C, Control V. Here we go. And here's our eyes. And what we could do is we can Shift select both of them and click down here, and it will fill it in. Now, if you use the Shift and um, left mouse button click, it will change the the pen. <coughs> so as you can see, you can change them to whatever color. So what I'm going to do is change it back to black. And if you want to get rid of the fill, you can just click here. So we're going to have it as black, or we're going to have it as white. But we're going to have it as black. That's the way that everybody else seems to do it. And we're going to come over here, and we're going to get the free hand, and we're going to zoom in a little bit, and we're going to click release, click release. And that's about three. That's pretty good. So we're going to come here, and we're going to... And as you can see, we've got a fill going on, so we'll get rid of the fill. There we go. And we use Control Z, it's Control C, and Control V. And there we go. And we've got some a face here. So now what we can do is we want to move them around in some sort of like, uh, you know, I'm looking over here. 
Hey, hi, I'm looking at you. I'm looking over here. I'm looking up. Oops, hold on, let's zoom out. I'm looking up. Looking down. What's over there, over there? What's that over there? What's that over there? What's that over there? What's that over there? So you can see how you could, you know, um, you can either, and you, what else you can also do is you can, in your export bitmap, you can export the selection, which will only export just the eyes. So if you're going to say animate in Synfig, then you can put the eyes and you can move them around in Synfig. But if you're just animating in Windows Movie Maker where you're doing frame by frame, then you just move it over here. And then you just save the picture out and do it again. So, I mean, depending on how you're animating, depends on how it you goes. For the last thing, what we're going to do is we're going to draw a mouth. And I'm just going to draw it freehand. Maybe I shouldn't be drawing it freehand. And maybe just come in here and just fix it up a little bit. You got these little curve thingy dingies. And let's see what happens when we fill it in. And that kind of works for us. Yeah, I think that kind of works. You know, probably there'll be some point where it doesn't really work. And you could also make the mouth out of this guy, the Bezier. And you could just do your clicking. And then come in here and move these guys around like that. And then fill it in. So you have two ways of making mouths. So what we'll do is we'll just delete this one. Oops, just click on it. Delete the whole thing. So like I was saying before, if you wanted to move everything around while you're talking, you can highlight them all and go, oh no, yes, oh no, oh, oh. Now another thing you might want to do is you might want to add a shadow. So the way we could do that is, oh, I'm not quite sure how we're going to do that. Let's see how we do that. Let's just click along here and say, click here and then click there. And we've got black, which is probably okay. And we'll come to this guy and we'll drag him around on the black. Drag him around on the black. And drag him around on the black here. We could just uh, let's see if we pick a color here. Uh, that's really not what we want, is it? What happens if we change the oh, I know what we're gonna do? We're going to change it to black. And then we're gonna drop the opacity on that one to say 20. And now we've got a bit of a shadow. And that's how you can get like your shadows down the thing. Now because it's black and it lines up in the black, it's not going to show up in the black. So you can change it a little bit. Move uh, with this with these guys. So I mean how you put shadows in is really up to you, but this is a way to put in a shadow. Um, and we can come over here and just Hello! So that looks like pretty good. Now when you save it, you're going to save it as an SVG, which is a um, vector graphics. And that's when you save the actual object. So when you come into this guy, you can make it as big, as small as you like. You can zoom in as much and notice it does not get pixelated. That's the great thing about this, what, this particular way. And when you export it out, I would say you want to export the drawing or not. Let's maybe say you're going to click on the hand and just export the hand. Say you're um, going to do it in uh, Synfig or whatever. But you need to mess around with your DPIs at the beginning to get it the size right so you know how big it is. Uh, make sure you save it as PNG so you've got the, uh, the uh, transparent background. And this is just a quick uh, um, tutorial. So hopefully this will get you started on uh, what you need to do. And good luck. Oops, forgot a few more things. Okay, in the, what we can do here is we can come over to this guy here, make sure we press, press our F1, click on there. What we can do is we can change our joins. So if you go here, you'll notice they'll go round, or here they're a little uh, curved. So you probably want to fix that. And in the cyanide and ha uh, happiness characters, they tend to curve parts of the body. So we're going to come in here, we're just going to go like this, and we're going to go like that. And we can just adjust this any way we want, really. Um, no, I'm going to move the arm back a bit. There we go. And this is how this is one of the things they do uh, for their characters. They kind of curve the body. So that's another thing we can add. I just wanted to put that in uh, for the tutorial. Good luck.